audio is a huge part to most videos. So it's important to know how you could add music and sound effects to your project. And we're gonna do just that in this video. So to add some music to your project, you can go up to the Photos and Audio sidebar, which you can use the shortcut Shift Command 1, or in a, above our browser here, we have this little button that'll navigate right to that Photo and Audio sidebar. And when you're here, on the left column, you're gonna see things like Logic, GarageBand, iTunes, and Sound Effects. And when you click on any one of these categories, it's gonna load the items on the right side. It might take a second, but here we can see a whole list of all of the sound effects. And these are actually all included with Final Cut Pro 10. And they're also all royalty free, which is great. So you can use all of these in your project without having to worry about some kind of contract or uh, paying someone else. Now with iTunes, this is gonna look at your music library same thing with GarageBand and Logic. You can do recordings and add content to those. But just know that if you're using someone else's content, you'll wanna check with them to make sure that you have the rights to actually use those items in your project and where you're gonna publish those. But assuming that you have the rights to everything, you can just click on iTunes and you'll see all the songs you've added to iTunes. Or in our case, we have the sound effects listed here. We can see all of those. To navigate around, at the top right here, you do have a search field. So if you know the name of the sound effect or the song that you're looking for, just type in the search and you can find it. You'll also see at the top right some folders here. And especially with sound effects, this is very useful. You can click on this and you'll be able to see very specific sound effects. So I have iMovie installed on this Mac, which is part of iLife. So I see all the iLife sound effects are listed here. I can see some theme music. I also see all the Final Cut Pro sound effects listed as well. So if I'm trying to look for something very specific, I could go here and click on it. As an example, we have ambient sound, which is just kind of background noise of certain things. And we can see birds are listed and some other things here. So this is a great way to narrow down and find a sound effect or something that you're trying to add to your project. When you do find it, say I want the barnyard here, I can just click and drag this down onto the timeline here. Usually a audio I drag below all of the video and I'll drop that down. And then here's our barnyard sound effect that's been added. You'll notice it's a different color. It's kind of a, um, this like teal or, or lighter blue here versus the darker blue that's on our, our main dialogue. And that's because it's been added using the effects role. If we look up here in the inspector, you can see this is a sound effect, so they put effects as the role. You can certainly click on it here in the inspector and change it. Maybe this is music. You could switch it to music, which color is it green? Or if it is part of the dialogue, you could change it to dialogue, and then it will become blue. So those colors are coming based on the role that it's been assigned to, which you can switch up there in the inspector. I don't actually want this barnyard sound effect, so I'm gonna click on it and hit delete to remove that. And that's just kind of an overview here of the uh, audio and sound effects that you can get from this uh, sidebar here. If I go back to the library, I actually have some sound effects that were recorded with this overtime project, and I wanna add those instead. So if I go on the left side here, I have a keyword for sound effects and I have a keyword for score. I actually want to get the music in at this portion. So I'm going to click on score. But what you'll notice is I don't see any matching things in here. And this happens very frequently. If you run into this, don't hesitate. Don't like, you know, all of a sudden freak out because you think you've lost something. Totally cool. There's nothing wrong here. What happens is I'm still set to showing just the favorite clips. So I'm going to click on favorites and changes back to hide rejected. And then there I see my entire score. In this case, I'm gonna use the Overtime Q4 audio. I can click on it just once to select the entire clip, or I can click and drag across a portion of that. I'm gonna use the shortcut Option X to clear the in and out points, and now I can just click and drag across that part of the score, and I'll drag that down onto my project. So at the end of this scene, I want the music to start to come in here. So I'm gonna do that, and I want it right about this point. 
And now we can see, just like we connected B-roll in the last video, we now have connected audio at the bottom here. However, it is marked it as dialogue. This is not dialogue, this is music. So I'm gonna go up here into the inspector, and I'm under the audio inspector, and I'm gonna change it from dialogue to music. And notice now it's changed it to green, that way it's set to the music role, which just helps me organize and visually see what clips I have on the timeline. In addition to that, I may wanna add the sound effect. So I can go up to my sound effects list here, I'm gonna click on my appearance menu and zoom out of everything, just down to all, just so I can see a list of all of the sound effects. I can see we have some atmosphere here for the office. So I'm gonna click and drag across this empty portion. This is just the background noise from the office. And I can add that into the project there. I'm gonna hit the B key to activate my razor blade and cut off this end here, just to close that off. So now, in addition to the Primary audio, we have some atmosphere audio, which is just some background noise, and we have some music down here. Then I know this atmosphere is sound effects, so I'm gonna change it to effects. And I wanna do both the left and the right side as sound effects. I'm gonna switch both of those over to color those. That gets the roles set correctly, which allows for organization. So after adding the audio, we can do some basic editing with the audio pretty quickly. If you hover over any of these audio clips, in the video too, you'll notice on the audio line, there's a little tiny handle here that you can click and drag. And as you drag this to the right, this is actually creating a fade in for that audio. So instead of our atmosphere sound here just cutting in and all of a sudden being there nice and loud, this puts a little fade in on that background noise. And we can do the same thing at the end if we want the background noise to fade out. I can just drag that to the left and now it'll fade out. Uh, additionally, I could do that with the music too. Right now the music does come in kind of loud right at the beginning. I can click and drag this beginning portion to actually have it fade in at the beginning of the audio. And it already fades out in the music cue that was edited here, but if I wanted to, I can just drag this to the left and then there'll be also a fade out added inside a Final Cut here to make sure that music slowly fades out at the end. So with the fades added, we've marked each of these clips with the correct role by selecting that audio clip and using the audio inspector here to change the role name. With all this set up, I do want to point out the timeline index, which is this button on the left side. If we click on the timeline index, this index allows us to navigate our timeline because it's doing just that. It's making an index of all of the clips, all of the roles that you've set, everything that you've set up here on your timeline. So I can see a list of all the clips that were used, and if I click on any of these clips, it's navigating and selecting those various clips. I'm gonna hit Shift Z to zoom out of the timeline here. This is a very small timeline. We've only added a couple clips, but if you have hundreds of different clips added to a project, which is very common, you'll see a list of all of those here, and you can even go to the bottom here and say, I wanna see just the audio clips or just the video clips and allows you to navigate between those. To the right of clips, we have tags. And if you remember before we added the scene four tag onto the, the, some of these clips, we also can see some of scene one is being used here for the atmosphere of the office. And if I select each of those in the index here, it's navigating to those different clips. With the tags as well, at the bottom you'll see markers, keywords, even to-do items are listed here, so you can also navigate using those. And we'll see markers and a lot of these more advanced features later, and that'll become more apparent. And the third one here is roles. So if you remember, we just marked these audio clips with music, effects, and dialogue. So using the index here, I can very easily see each of those roles. I can even uncheck some of these to disable some of that audio. So if you don't wanna hear that background noise, the sound effects and the music, you can uncheck those. They're still on the timeline, they're still there. You just won't hear them when you're playing back and editing your project, which can be useful. To the right, we have a couple options here for audio as well. You can click on each of these buttons to change the way these clips show up in the timeline. So as an example here, if I expand the dialogue, uh, you can see that it expands it out so that we see both of those audio tracks. This clip came from this video up here. 
So by expanding it out, it can be easier to see all of that audio here on the timeline. Next to that, this button here allows us to break up and see each of the sub roles for audio. So in addition to applying your primary role, which might be music, for example, you might have a sub role that breaks up the type of music that you're using, whether it be primary music, backup music, you may have just a drum track versus a full mix, and you could have those as sub roles. And that's what that option does. And then the final one here, this little circle here, if you click on this one, this one will bring focus to whichever role is selected. So example, we have the music at the end. I'm going to use that one. If I click on that, notice it shrinks down all of the other audio and shows us just that music clip. This can be very helpful when you have many, many, many different layers of audio on your project. At the bottom, you do get an option to edit your roles. When you click on this, it brings up a little roll dialog here so you can remove or add sub roles or change the color. All that stuff can be done here. And we have an option here also for show audio lanes. And the lanes are kind of like tracks of audio. So it'll group them. Notice on the left side here with no audio lanes. And when I enabled all of the lanes, we can see music is labeled. It's set there. We have our sound effects and then our primary audio. All of those things are great for navigation. And depending on the way you like to edit, it can be helpful to enable or disable some of those tools from the timeline index. So I just wanted to give you a brief overview of that. We will come back to it and look at it in more detail in another video.